Hello and welcome to today's video. Now, this isn't my planned video because I was going to do some videos with Owen today, but we've just finished doing a, a Lego opening for his other channel and he wasn't feeling too well. So he's gone off to have a rest and so I'm going to do this as does cured chicken or cured chicken breast. I saw this uh, a little while ago now and I've put off trying it to be honest. Because it seemed like a fun thing to try at the time. And then as it got nearer and nearer, I just didn't want to really do it. But here's the uh, the information on the back. So it says the ingredients are chicken breast is 85%. You've got water, salt, sugar, pork, pork gelatin, stabiliser. And then gelling agent and some other stuff. Yeast extract. So I'm not sure what this is going to be like. I've got some bread to make a sandwich. So we're going to open it up and see if this is actually any good. So, right, got to use the old tin opener. This is my mum's tin opener. I thought it was going to be a pool can. I ain't used one of these in ages. Oh yeah. Just in case anything spills out. Got one of my mum's 1980s bowls too. Oh, it smells like dog food. Oh. <laughs> okay. Right. Um. So, it don't look too pleasant. It looks like dog food. <laughs> Can you pass me that, um, the, the stuff from there, the knife and all that, please? If I drain off the uh, liquid, and then I've got another plate, which hopefully, without making a mess, <laughs> are you going to try this, cow? Nope. <laughs> Why not? That's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 the bottom of the can don't smell nice neither. It smells That's different. Sort of gelatine. Uh, I don't know what that looks like. It looks weird. Gelatine, it's covered in it. It reminds me of spam. So, I should have brought up an, a fork as well. Let me uh, try it without making, that's a bit wet that, I'll try and get a bit where, if I, can I turn, let me try something, it's probably not the best way to cut it, but, it doesn't, rem it kind of makes me think of chicken, but not fully, no, I'll have to use my fingers, let's take a bit of that, Put some in the bread. I'll be honest, um, it smells really weird. It kind of looks weird. It smells like dog food, but Can I have a tissue? It actually just tastes like chicken. With all the talk of pork and gelatins and all the rest of it, in all fairness to it, it smells unpleasant, but it doesn't taste bad. It tastes quite, uh, Perfectly fine. It would have been better if it was in the fridge. 
No, I think they've just been seen. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know how much it was. Though. How much was it? I don't know. Right, so yeah, when you open it up, it does smell a bit dog foody. Um, smells like spam near the bottom. You got all that liquid, which sort of makes you think it's not going to be that nice. But seriously, it is just chicken. It does taste, it tastes fine. Just, yeah, can't go wrong. Um, what would I give it though? It's meant to serve four. So you'd have to cut it very thinly. Mm. With some people that might be a bit of a push. Like I just did that. Uh, how much would I give it? Because um, I don't like the smell when you open it. I'll give it a nine and a half. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I'd probably stick to just buy a normal chicken. But if you just wanted something to keep in the, in the cupboard. And have for a snack and a sandwich one day. There's nothing wrong with it. It'll last a while. So yeah, why did I say nine and a half on it? Mm -hmm. So yeah, nine and a half. It's perfectly pleasant. Just don't sniff it before you eat it. Right, so if you like this and you want to see some more, please subscribe to the channel. It's free to do. Uh, leave a like if you like this kind of thing. And we'll see you next time. Hopefully with Owen, where I can try something I'm actually looking forward to. Because I was really looking forward to doing something today. But unfortunately, we'll have to do it another day. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.